Welcome to the show, Outlier Show. Your host Rizwan Rashid is here tonight with another outlier. And this outlier has been all over the world. And you know why? Because he is talking all about wellness. Yes, me, you, and everybody's wellness. I am going to introduce you somebody who is really passionate about wellness of human being with not medicines only or what you thought about it, but something really interesting. I can't even e even explain it beautifully because I know my friend, my mentor, and the person who has a, a highest level of education that I can even think of will be able to explain it much better. And in this tonight outlier show, I am really honored to have Professor Dr. George Grant. Professor George, uh, Professor Dr. George Grant, PhD, is author of 13 books. Yes, 13 books, and he is on a way to have 10 more books. He has uh, three PhDs and uh, has five uh, patents. Uh, about uh, some of these uh, about medicines and wellness. I want you to have this uh, really deep in thought discussion uh, and listen to this how he is going to impact but because I know as an outlier we are all on the go 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 but it is our body who's gonna keep helping us going to the forward and tonight's show will be full of all surprises that you never have heard before. Welcome, Professor Dr. George Grant, PhD. Sir, welcome to the show. To the Thank show. you so much, Rizwan. My co-author in the Guinness Book of Record with 126 gifted co-author, Rizwan. Thank you for the invitation and thank you for this opportunity. Thank you so much. It's it's uh, lovely to have you here because uh, you know we we've been always talking about uh, to have you uh, on our show, and you've been uh, going all over the world, and you have a lot of uh, sessions, workshops happening. Uh, I, I say COVID nineteen is one of blessing that I'm I'm able to have you on uh, one of my show and be able to share your wisdom, knowledge with our audience just with 13 books and, and three PhDs and become a Guinness Book of World Record holder. There's like plenty of things that can uh, designate you with that outlier. But in your words, how do you see yourself as an outlier? Okay, before we start, uh, Rizwan, uh, normal, usual disclaimer, I'm not a physician, I'm not an MD. Uh, I'm a PhD from University of Toronto, and ha I have other two PhDs from the World Organization of Natural Medicine, and also from the Board of Integrative Medicine. And uh, yes, as you just mentioned, I'm an educator. Our motto is we care, we serve, we educate. We do not medicate, we do not operate, we do not irradiate, we do not vaccinate, and we do not irritate. That's our motto. <laughs> So uh, just as a normal disclaimer, this particular webinar is not approved by Health Canada or the FDA or the CDC, even though I did work for those organization for 10 years back in the early 2000, but uh, this is not approved by them in any way or shape or form. And just wanna let you know that uh, I wanna actually tell you that I believe in prevention, Rizwan, that than intervention. Why? I go back to when I was 18 years young. Mm -hmm. When I was 18 years young, my mother passed away in her early 40s. She was 41 from heart attack. And she had heart disease, she had hypertension, and she had diabetes. And she passed away in her early 40s, and I was 18 years young. So I was without mom at age 18, orphan. And you know, when you have this kind of uh, experience as losing your mom at this early age it, it's just like it it's like putting your head against a vice grip and you wonder what is this about is it like the bypass did not work for her the medication did not work for her all of the stuff that the doctors did 
with all due respect, it has failed her, it has failed our family. Similar things happened to my dad in his early 60s. I have never seen my grandparents. They died in their mid 50s. So I don't have any grandparents from mother's side or, or father's side. So that's where the humbling beginning starts, Rizwan, at age 18. So thank goodness that genes is not the only thing to determine your destiny because there's a science called epigenetics that turns your bad genes off and turn your good genes on. It's not just genetics that, you know, basically control your destiny. Because I just turned 70 last May. I'm going now into 71. I know I look much younger. Thanks very much, Rizwan. Yeah. <laughs> yes, you are. <laughs> and I feel younger, even though I had very bad genes from both parents and grandparents. So this is where the turning point came now to help people to prevent early death and to live longer. In fact, one of my 13 books that you just mentioned, it was How to Live Healthy to 101. Uh, somebody in the States actually reach one, reached uh, the age 101 and he's now 111. So my other 13th book with uh, Robert J. Moore, How to Live Healthy to 111. Somebody else came and lived till age 111 so I'm planning to write a book now, How to Live Healthy. Guess what? 145. There's somebody actually lived wow. to 145. If you go to my Facebook page on my timeline, you're going to see the person who lived 145. Can you imagine that, Rizwan? Wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and, and in good so, health yeah, and good spirits, right? It's almost unbelievable, uh, which yeah. means I'm almost halfway through there if we if god give me the the time to live longer and help more people to prevent heart disease to prevent hypertension to prevent diabetes to prevent stroke and all of these things are preventable if your viewers and listeners go to academyofwellness.com they will see that i've been doing this for many many years almost like 45 years i have published over 250 papers published in refereed medical journals I'm a senior editor of 12 refereed journals and we review the work from Harvard Medical School, from Johns Hopkins, Mayo Clinic, Cleveland Clinic. And I happen to work with all of those clinics, uh, of course, also Mayo Clinic, uh, at the International uh, Pain Conference in Chicago in the year 2015. So we work with all of these top clinics in the world and we, we basically review their papers and so on. So as you mentioned in the introduction, I've written 13 books. It took me like 45 years to do that. In the next 10 weeks, I'm planning to write 10 more books. It's going to be a wellness series called Turning Point 2020 with the top doctors in Canada, the U.S., and the world. And uh, Robert G. Moore, our, uh, our co-author and also uh, my publisher, will be writing those book series called Turning Point 2020. Mm -hmm. And um, we're going to be actually inviting him to speak at our home conference in October is going to be a virtual conference. And guess how many people are expecting Rizwan to attend this virtual conference? Oh. 1.5 million viewers. Wow. Legend conference. We only had about 200,000 and we thought that was a great turnout. This coming October conference, we're going to have over 2.5 million viewers in the seven days conference in October. And then we'll have all of these posts on the Facebook page on LinkedIn. And then also on the uh, Instagram and Twitter and all of those other social media. And with your help also, we're going to get the, the whole world to know about this upcoming conference. So that is very briefly uh, how I started in a humble beginning my story. And that's how I turned into preventative medicine. That's how I end up actually learning about pharmacy pharmacology, about toxicology, about microbiology, and about food science and nutrition because this is something that I believe every person should know and learn. How to take care of your diet, how to make your body resistant to disease, any disease. So particularly this kind of COVID-19 environment, we have to focus on boosting the immune system. This is the key here, how to boost the immune system. Not to wait for vaccines, not to wait for any of this stuff that they're hoping to manufacture, because there is no vaccine can be 100% safe, and there is no vaccine can be 100% effective, because of the additives that they add to the vaccine. So the only hope we have right now is every preventive doctor, every scientist like myself, talking about prevention, not intervention, talking about how to boost our immune system, 
hypothalamus, how to boost our T cells, T lymphocytes. On my website, academyofwellness.com, I have some recommendations there. And as you, as you mentioned in the introduction, I was former quarantine officer with Health Canada and the FDA and the CDC. I was in charge of the SARS, MERS, and H1N1, a Norwalk virus in the year 2000, 2001. And uh, we didn't have any lockdown. We didn't have any panic. Um, like this time that we're living in right now, which is some sort of, <laughs> nobody knows exactly what's going on. Even doctors are confused about what, what's happening right now. I'm not going to get into this uh, COVID-19 issue because it's highly controversial. But all I can tell you, if we focus on boosting our immune system, as I mentioned on my website, taking vitamin D3, 10,000 IU, this is very healthy dose to boost the immune system. Hundreds of papers published, there is one on vitamin D3 to boost the immune system and to prevent any viral disease, including COVID-19, including any SARS, coronavirus, including any H1N1, vitamin D3, 10,000 IU, very inexpensive, very effective, and very safe, okay? And vitamin C, 5,000 milligrams, vitamin A, zinc, 50 milligrams, uh, all of eating the vegetables and, and the fruits and all of this on the website, academyofwellness.com, I invite your viewers to go and take a look and that is how we can actually boost our immune system and provide natural immunity from the inside you don't need to, have to worry about any any anything happening in the media i would recommend strongly to turn your tv and radio off because any media attempt to create fear it will suppress immune system once our immune system is suppressed not only we're going to be vulnerable to any virus out there or bacteria we're going to be in danger of any other, you know, invaders, yeah. whether it's virus, bacteria, uh, mold, yeast, and, and any of these things. But once you have a good immune system, once you have healthy T cells, T lymphocytes, healthy B cells, once we have healthy CD4, once we have all of this healthy thymus, which makes your all of those T lymphocytes, then there is no fear. There is no need for fear. Fear is the worst four letter words in the English dictionary, F-E-A-R. Because once you have fear, you're paralyzed. It doesn't matter whether you wear a mask or you believe in mask or you believe in the social distancing. It doesn't matter whether you hear the news five times or 10 times about the COVID-19. If you do have fear, you're gonna have compromised immune system. I have not seen many doctors or scientists like myself talking about how we can turn this fear off and turn immune system on. That's all I wanted to say about this COVID-19 in my introduction. Be beautiful. Ladies and gentlemen, you just witnessed uh, this person has a humble beginning, as he mentioned that at age 18 when he lost his uh, parent and he felt that, uh, you know, is, is this a genetically, is this something I'm going to face? And he ultimately changed uh, his perspective toward looking at medicine and not only change for himself, but he's been uh, an inspiration for millions. Uh, did you knew at that time when you were looking toward medicine that this is going to be your life for next, uh, the rest of your life? Or you were just exploring at that time? At the age 18, I wanted actually to be a medical doctor. So I was looking for to attend medicine and, and to finish the four years medical school. But when I see my parents uh, really did not get helped by the uh, by all of this uh, bypass and medications and all of the stuff, I said, there must be a better way. There, there has to be something else that we can do to prevent disease. That's when my early uh, curious nature started to look for what is the cause? What is the root cause of hypertension, diabetes? Why we get clogged arteries? Why do we have bypass? Why do we have clogged arteries? Why do we die from heart attack and stroke? Why? What is the root cause of this? And the answer is really simple. I, I guess the first question is, can we prevent this? The answer is absolutely yes. Unconditionally uh -huh. yes. Uh -huh. Look at me. Uh, I have both parents, grandparents, and grand-grandparents with all of these bad genes. Yet, I, I'm, I'm going to 71 right now. I don't feel 71 and I'm planning to, God, if God willing to keep me until age 100 or, or beyond, I'm here. 145. To you and, and all of your viewers. It's not about- 145, Dr. George. 
<laughs> Thank you so much, Rizwan. <laughs> it's not about living longer. I don't want to live longer hooked in a kidney dialysis machine. I don't want to live longer with diabetes. I don't want to live longer with all of the medications. I'm planning, I have never touched medication in my life. I don't take meds. And I'm not against medication, by the way. Okay, I did work with lots of drug companies. I'm not against the big pharma or any, any of the sort. It's not like uh, we despise them for any for any reason. It's just like there's a better way to live with a blood pressure medication until you die. There's a better mm -hmm. way. I've done this with 10,000 clients in Canada and 10,000 clients overseas across the USA and Europe and also the Caribbean country where I travel a lot. Okay. So the answer is the focus now has to be on prevention. It has to with the focus. It has to be on what we eat what we do not eat and what's eating us for stress because stress mm -hmm. causes 80 to 85 percent of all diseases so if you have a stress if we have fear we're going to have mm -hmm. disease so if we eliminate the fear way if we eliminate the stress and try to normalize the stress i'm not saying we should live without any stress because the absence of a stress is death so we cannot have zero stress in our life all of us have certain stresses the stress of commute, the stress of working, the stress of, uh, you know, meeting our financial needs, the health stress, uh, relationship stress, sleep stress, pain stress. And we all can actually look at all of this to find what causes the stress, what's the root cause, and how we can reverse it naturally. Let's say that you have headaches. The first time somebody have headache, they rush into their pharmacy, over-the-counter medication, like aspirin, Tylenol, and Advil. Easy to get, over-the-counter, no prescription required, without knowing yeah. what is that effect of ASA, aspirin. Well, aspirin can cause bleeding. It can cause gastric bleeding. And then if they use Tylenol, it can cause liver problem, hepatic toxicity. If they rush for Advil, it can cause a rapid heartbeat, tachycardia arrhythmia. I have young lady in her 22, she was taking six Advil during one week during her period because she had lots of PMS. I said, you're taking six Advil? On the bottle it says, take only maximum two per day. She said, doc, I'm in a very severe PMS pain. I, two cannot cut it. I said, but if you take six, you're gonna actually, you're gonna harm your heart. Which one do you want? You want a PMS pain or you want a regular heartbeat? Like arrhythmia and tachycardia, or sometimes it can even cause heart attack if you keep taking six uh, Motrin or six ibuprofen. So uh, anyway, we changed her Advil addiction <laughs> to things like natural herbs, like black ohoj, dankwai, maca, and all of those herbs that actually reduce the pain. And of course, B-complex and vitamin D3, uh, which I must stress. Uh, by the way, D3 reverse three diseases start with D. Dementia, diabetes, and depression. Of course, it's very important for the heart, for the liver, for the kidney. 10,000 IU, by the way, 10,000 is not toxic dose. I'm a toxicologist. Toxic dose, somebody tried to, to actually use 250,000 IU over three years, he did not die. I'm not recommending 250,000 IU, I'm recommending only 10,000 IU. Doctors recommend 1,000 or 800 IU, that is not sufficient. So I give this lady the vitamin D3, 10,000, I give her B complex, I give her vitamin A, I give her all of the zinc too. She did not even know that the period is coming and instead of seven days of pms now it's only three days and it's just like she's so happy so sometimes we don't have to rush for the pill for every ill we have to find mm -hmm. what is the natural way we can do it what is the root cause of this problem is it hormonal fluctuations is it headache and we can always reverse this naturally there's, there's always a natural basically reducing your dependency on blood pressure medications, diabetes medication. We have done this for so many clients and their own physician take them off and reduce their own medications. Because that's what happened to all of the ancient civilization. They used herbs from the earth. They used vitamins, used minerals, they used salts, they used tissue salts, they used all of the acupuncture, they used the Ayurvedic medicine in India, the, the traditional Chinese medicine, all of this has been for centuries. So if somebody say, well, this is evidence-based medicine, okay, all right, it's evidence-based. But there's evidence-based for 5,000 years of using other medicines, which has been used for centuries in those countries as well. And there's lots of now published papers. I have published 250 papers in medical referee journals about the efficacy 
of some of these methods to reverse disease. In fact, I've done a study just published two weeks ago, Rizwan, how we can reverse dementia and Alzheimer using simple technique called thermotherapy, vibration therapy, and sound therapy, which has been accepted in a refereed medical journal called Acta Scientifica, which I can email you this review paper, over 100 cited ref references from the top scientists in the world. I just reviewed the literature. I did not do invent anything, but guess what? I'm doing currently as I speak right now, a study on dementia using thermotherapy, using vibration therapy and sound therapy in a three month study for about 15 subjects right here in Toronto. And then we have another subjects also in Wisconsin, my other colleague, Dr. Jay, uh, Jay uh, Van den Hovel doing the study there in Wisconsin. And then we have another doctor also gonna be, she's gonna be working with me. She's expert in diabetes. She's gonna be doing a study on dementia because as you know, dementia is top three diabetes. If you, if you did not hear this yet, now we hear it yeah. from me because 25 years ago, I was the first scientist to coin dementia as top three diabetes at the World Organization of Natural Medicine. And uh, it's documented there. So right now we're talking about how we can reverse type three diabetes. We can also reverse type two diabetes, and then we can reduce the dependency for type one diabetics significantly. In fact, Dr. Shale Ivaniski, who has type one diabetes, she's also my gonna be my co-author in this kind of study. And she's gonna be actually doing research because she has reduced her own dependency herself as type one diabetic by almost 80% on her insulin dependency. And hemoglobin A1C now, you would not believe this, 6.5. The normal A1C, which is the average three months of blood glucose level, is 6.8. She's below that as type 1 diabetic. And she's reducing her dependency on insulin using her insulin pump. And we have done lots of interviews together, webinars together on diabetes, type 1, type 1 and a half times type 2, and type 3, which is dementia. And then we're doing the study right now using, as I mentioned before, thermotherapy, vibration therapy, and sound therapy, which will be presented at our upcoming conference in October, WONM Conference, the World Organization of Natural Medicine Conference. And guess what? How many people do you have, Rizwan, in this coming virtual conference? We're expecting 2.5 million participants. Beautiful. I mean, you know, I'm, I'm mesmerized with all the, the information I'm, I'm getting from you. I'm, I understand the power uh, you possess uh, in terms of your knowledge, wisdom with, uh, with thousands of people here in North America and outside of the world. Uh, we're going to take a short break and we'll come back and we're going to ask uh, Professor Dr. George Grant uh, a little bit about more. Uh, I just want to make sure that this is really uh, loud and clear. Uh, basically, what we do is recommend lifestyle changes. That's all we do, just recommend lifestyle changes. And then once you eat the proper food, once you exercise, once you actually do the stuff that we talk about at the Academy of Wellness.com under Wellness IQ, I don't need to do any curing here. There's no cure. The only thing I do is I become like a detective to find the root cause of their challenge. Bless uh, you and bless your heart uh, with, with all the clarity and all the passion for you about wellness. Dr. George, you mentioned about uh, um, having this uh, summit coming up where almost 2.5 million viewers coming up and you have doctors and wellness coaches coming together. Could you explain uh, where, when is this happening, how people can reach out to you and what they should expect in this summit? Okay, our 
annual conference, Rizwan, happen always in Toronto, Canada, right here. We get about 250, 300 doctors from all over the world physically attending this conference. Mm-hmm. Now, this year, because of COVID-19, we cannot have this conference because of the restrictions about the social distancing and so on. So we decided to make it virtual conference in October 2020. And the theme of the conference is Turning Point 2020. So our conference chair, Dr. Brian Gangle, he's actually expert in attracting people online. So we decided to do this conference virtually. And in the last legend conference, he was also the chair of this legend conference. I was fortunate to be one of the speakers and we had over 200,000 people virtually on the legend conference for five days. Mm -hmm. This conference, we're expecting 2.5 million participants in the seven day conference because our goal at the World Organization of Natural Medicine is to attract 1 million new members. Wow. Wow. Uh, You know, Professor Dr. George Grant is not only a doctor, author. To me today, it revealed he's a philosopher too. He's he's giving a philosophy of life because I'm, I was uh, writing A, B, C, D, E, F, and I was about to say about Z. He read my mind through the camera and he answered that to me. Uh, and I love the concept of, of uh, that because it's just kind of a an easy way to that. Okay, you know, A, B, C, attitude and gr- ingratitude, believe in yourself, commit to perfect lifestyle. I mean, how common thing is, but it's hard to do. And if, uh, if somebody is providing you, this is going to be amazing. I mean, I'm loving your no- novel thought on uh, wellness, uh, Dr. George Crane, because uh, uh, sometimes we probably need a wake-up call. And, and tonight's show is probably a wake-up call to many. And, and, I, and I thank you for your, uh, you know, coming on the show and, uh, and sharing your wisdom with us. And I'm sure a lot of people will be able to uh, reach out to you and, and ask for your support. Because as, I, as you mentioned in Just Say ABC, there's a lot for more to, to be able to help them with the just change of their dynamics, change of their habits, change of their uh, perspective and understanding on different things. You know what, there's one. I'm going to offer something I have never offered before in your show. Yes. Because I, I, I really value you as a, one of my co-authors in the Guinness Book of Record. If they finish the Wellness IQ at the academyofwellness.com, complete the wellness, the 10 wellness questions on the Wellness IQ, mm-hmm. I'm going to send you and them a PDF copy of my book, How to Live Healthy to 101, which has A, B, C, D, E, up to Z. I'll send you a copy today on my PDF book. At no cost at all. I'll just email it to them. Okay. And uh, I'll, I'll be happy to go on Zoom or to go by phone to help them in any way, shape, or form I can. It's just like another extra gift to your clients. There's no need to wait until, you know, they have either medication or operation or severe, you know, medical complications. You know, we can solve it naturally if we can. If not, then medication could be the ultimate, you know, thing if they cannot, if they cannot do it naturally. Okay? Thank you.